Hey, it's Mike with TechBB.com, and today I'm going to show you how to install a standard Halo speed feed inside of a Velocity Junior. Now, Velocity Junior is the same thing as the Excessive Velocity. Also, the Dynasty Loader is using the new Velocity Junior shell, so since I haven't really made that good of a speed feed yet, I'm going to show you how to make uh, one of your own. Now, some of the things I'm going to recommend that you get are, I've been using some Intimidator eye, um, eye screws. The uh, eye cover screws have been working really well, and I've been using the pin uh, that goes inside of the halo lids. Uh, this has been working pretty well for me, and something else that you're going to want to get is a vise. Now, let me show you the first thing you want to do. Is as you can see the Halo Speed Feed obviously is not designed for the Velocity Junior, but I'll show you when you're done installing it. It actually works very, very well with a uh, with a quick installation. First thing you want to do is go ahead and take out our Speed Feed. Now what I do is I take my Speed Feed and I put the tab in a vise. Okay, the very end of it. Now what you're going to want to do is using a small drill bit, the drill bit I'm using right here is a 1 16th drill bit, is drill a hole almost at the very end of it for you to put your pin through. So at the very end of it, you want to make sure you get this perfectly lined up because if you're off center here, you could ruin your speed feed. I just go very slow, take your time. Okay, let's hope I didn't screw that up because I think that's my only speed feed. Unscrew. Yeah, okay, perfect. Now I don't know if you can see that hole or not, but that hole goes perfectly through the, uh, that hole goes perfectly through, so now my pin uh, goes perfectly straight through the speed feed. Okay, now that that's done, let's go ahead and carefully sit the vise on the ground. Now that vise I just showed you is just a, a basic piece of shit vise. You can get it at Walmart, um, I think, or I think I may have got that vise at Sears. It's like an eight or nine dollar vise. Definitely a really good investment uh, if you're tinkering around with your paintball gear. Now, let's go ahead and take apart the Velocity Junior. For the essence of time, I did have the screws removed beforehand. And then now, what you're going to do is take the halo pin. I'm sure this is put in there properly first. Okay. Perfect. Now for the, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and put the pin in first. Go ahead and slide the speed feed in there now and grab the other shell and put this through the same hole that the lid would normally go into. Now make sure that you have it lined up perfectly and in this case I will. Now it's going to just kind of flop around which is okay for right now. I'm going to show you how to fix it. Now what I suggest doing is, is go ahead and just take one or two screws and putting them into the velocity before you do the drilling. Okay, much better. Now, here comes kind of the tricky part. Now, you'll pick the, the, uh, the speed feed up, and you're going to want to lift it up about as high as it's going to want to go without coming completely out. You're going to want it to set on top of the screw here, which is why I put that screw in, 
you're going to want, you'll see if you lift the speed feed up almost completely out, it's going to naturally want to sit on top of this little bridge here. Um, now what you're going to want to do is at the very end of this cut that they have here for the, um, the very end of the, the cut that they have cut in here for the lid, you're going to drill two small holes and put your eye cover screws in that place. So once again, once this is all set up perfectly, you want to hold it in place. Okay, so we drilled our small hole. Now let's get an Allen key. Okay. Now you're going to look down in the hole, make sure that you got it lined up. Okay, I'm not going to force that. What I'm actually going to do is go a size up on the screw. From 1 16th to 5 64. I'm going to redrill this hole a little bit bigger. Okay. There's no sense in cracking the plastic. So. Okay. Now what we're going to do, now that we got the hole lined up, we're just going to start threading the eye cover screw. into the shell and what I do is I take my fingers and I kind of press the the velocity or I'm sorry the uh, the speed feed against the you know against the screw there just to put a little tension on it so it doesn't bubble out okay there we go so we've got one side installed and I don't know if you can see that but it is completely through the body and through the speed feed so now let's go ahead on over here to the other side Okay, now like I said, once what, what we did here was we used a 1 16th drill bit to drill the hole in the speed feed for the little piece of metal, the uh, lid pin. And then what we used was a 564 drill bit for these uh, particular eye cover screws that we're using. Now, these are the ones that I use on the Intimidators. Okay, now you don't have to tighten this down by any means. Uh, you just want to thread it until it stops. Make sure that you kind of see it poking through on each side. And that is it um, for uh, installing. And as you can see here, let me go ahead and grab this. Okay, this is not going anywhere. You can slap it, grab it, pull it, move it around. Does not matter. This is not going anywhere. This is bolted in place. And if you need to take your velocity apart, you can simply remove these screws out, set them aside, and your velocity is going to come apart just like it normally would. But I love the way this looks. This works really, really well on the gun. Um, it sits on there nice and nice and low, very low profile. Doesn't stick up. Doesn't look like you have a um, you know half a, a tennis ball can on top of your velocity loader. But I really hope this helps you install the uh, speed feeds into the Velocity Juniors because uh, it looks like V-Loader is going to be kicking these shells out for some time and uh, this mod definitely works really really well and has a nice clean install so hopefully this helps. Uh, email me if you have any questions. Thank you very much.